So this video is for my interactive scripting class, and I'm kind of going to knock out a few things that every Unity uh, programmer should know how to do. So the first thing we're going to talk about is changing scenes. Uh, and I am going to... Essentially, the way that I like to do it is I like to create a trigger and walk the FPS controller into the trigger, and then the trigger causes a scene change. So I like to build a sphere, maybe three by three, and I'll move it over here, and I'll make sure that there's a doorway or hallway um, that I have to walk into. So we'll just stretch this to three. And then we'll move both of these back like that. Um, I'll put the sphere back somewhat. I will duplicate this wall. set its value to, I don't know, what do you think, five? Sweet. Just like that. So this sphere here, we can turn the mesh renderer off, we can set it to be a trigger, and when the user tries to go through here to get to the next level, uh, this, is, this is how that's going to happen. Uh, okay, so let's tag this as, I add a few tags. I add next level, and I add uh, last level. Previous level would work fine too. Right, so we'll tag this next level, and next level. And on the FPS controller, should we put it on the FPS controller, or should we put it on the sphere? Let's put the script on the trigger itself, and that way the player controller can control itself, control the player, and not have to worry about changing levels. Okay, so this is tagged as next level. We're going to change this back to untagged. We don't need those tags, because we're just going to be looking for the player. So um, next level is the name of this, and we will add component um, change scene. So just a new script named change scene, and create and add. <clears throat> uh, so we're gonna need to import using Unity engine dot scene management. <clears throat> and let's have, so we can have this one of two ways. Uh, serialize field. And we'll say uh, string. Um, Next level name. <clears throat> and by default, we'll make it equal to, I don't know, sample scene. Do I need to put this underneath? Is that what you're arguing about? Maybe you don't know what you're talking about. <coughs> Uh, and then void on trigger enter collider other if other that game object dot compare tag player. Uh, do we need a reference to our scene manager? I don't know. Scene manager dot load scene uh, and then next level name. Let's see if we've got that code right. Hmm. It might be right. 
So I'll make sure that my FPS custom controller is tagged as player, and it is. And then I need to make sure that I have a scene called sample scene. I don't, I just have one called scene zero. And let's say that if I wanted to go from here to my fall platform scene, <clears throat> let's say that I want to go there. So I'm going to copy the name of this fall platform scene and then go to my picking up objects, my next level trigger and change the script here to the name of the level that I want to go to. I also need to add these to the build settings so we can go to file build settings and you can see scenes in build there are none so we'll add our open scene and we will also drag and drop our fall platform scene so let's hit play and see if anything happens so run around just walk through this doorway and boom we're in the next scene And what I'm going to do is select these four things. <clears throat> 3D object empty right at the middle. I'm going to move all of these to change scene. And I'll just make that a prefab. Uh, and then when I go to my fall platform scene, I can drag my change scene into there. And then we'll just change this next level trigger to go to picking up objects. Let's make sure that's the name. Picking up OBJs. So let's see if we can teleport back and forth between the two of them. <clears throat> now it is going to reload that scene and destroy everything from this particular scene. So everything will start out brand new. If we throw all of the uh, items off of the scene, when we come back to this scene, they'll all be right back in the same position. Which is kind of cool. Uh, so if you want to learn more about scene management, we could go to a new tab in our preferred browser. Go to Unity Scene Manager and look at the scripting API for the scene manager. There are things like uh, getting the active scene to know where what scene we're currently in. Um, you can actually load multiple scenes at a time. So as you work through a level, you can add new parts to the level as you need to and then unload them whenever you want. This uh, load scene asynchronously um, will load the scene in the background, lets you keep playing, and then as soon as it's loaded, it all pops in. There's all sorts of extra things you can do in here, but the, the scene manager is what we're using. So one more look at the code. <clears throat> Don't forget to include using Unity Engine management. And then if there's anything else you need to add in here, that's fine. Uh, I was going to add a serialized field for int um, uh, next level index equal to zero. Uh, and we could build some kind of test in here. Um, if it's negative one by default, we can go to sample scene or if it's built, if it's set to sample scene by default, use the next level index, use one or the other. Um, so you can use either one of these. If we had just said next level index here it would accomplish the same thing and we would just change the build number that we wanted to go to those indexes are 
under file build settings, you can see that picking up objects corresponds to the zero and fall platform corresponds to the one.